Hello, Madonna fans and friends, and welcome to another episode of Diva News. It's Miriam here, and let me just say, what were you doing last weekend? If you were like me and so many other fans, you were clamoring to get a glimpse of this amazing, iconic event that happened on May 4th in Copacabana Beach in Rio de Janeiro when Madonna took over the entire beach and numbers have come in at 1.6 million in attendance. That is crazy. I just can't get over it. And we knew this was the numbers we were going to get, but just seeing it in these photos is another thing altogether. And if you had the chance to watch the show when it was broadcast, you know what I'm talking about. That was insane. And it's true that she had a really high number and in the listing of the highest numbers we know that Rod Stewart had um, something a little over 3 million in attendance for his event in 1994 however one of the things that wasn't mentioned was that it took place on New Year's Eve in Brazil and as I know from Guilherme in Brazil New Year's Eve is a beach event actually I actually have a videotape that shows uh, the celebrations that occur when New Year's Eve happens in Brazil. And they go and dress in white and go to the beach and celebrate um, for good luck for the new year. So that was kind of coinciding with that event, not to take away from it, but just to add to that, it was already an event people were going to. And Rolling Stones also performed there at 1.2 million for their audience. So. She is in really good company here with some great legends and I just I'm so proud of her to have the chance to perform in front of so many people who love her so much. Not to mention uh, I was watching an interview um, I think it was Madonna News from a fan who attended I uh, forget what country he came in from but he said the whole week leading up to her performance it was just the entire city was basically shut down for Madonna. It was like signs everywhere for her saying thank you madonna the stores all had her merchandise and memorabilia and the restaurants and bars played all her music oh it would have been so great to be there during that week just to like enjoy that experience and the rehearsals with all the other fans it was like this historic event you know not just that show but everything leading up to it so I just want to congratulate Madonna, congratulate her team. This is such an amazing way to end the tour, to have this as a part of this tour's legacy. And were you able to watch the live broadcast in any way or have you checked it out since or seen some of the photos? What do you think? And if you were there, we want to hear from you definitely in the comments. Tell us about your experience. So to answer the previous question, where and how did you watch the broadcast? I have to send a huge shout out and thank you to uh, Guilherme and just everything that he did to make it possible for me to watch because I really didn't think I was going to have the opportunity. And um, he found a way with my vision impairment. I'm kind of not the most technologically savvy when it comes to these things. So he helped me through the process and he hooked me up to live broadcast where he was watching it in Sao Paulo. Uh, well, Sao Bernardo de Campo, where he lives, but close to Sao Paulo. And they had it on their Globo television station. And I just want to say how wonderful it was that I'm so um, touched that he was able to do that for me. He is such a sweet sweetheart. He's someone that I work with on this club together. And just being able to watch it with him was just just a icing on the cake of the work that we do. But I want to get into the show itself, uh, talk about what I thought. And one thing that really stood out for me watching it was just the sound was so crisp and clear. I mean, being at the shows in Seattle and also um, watching YouTube, I mean, the bass is, you know, it's really loud which is great it's you know gets the audience going but you can't really hear all those details and this we could totally hear things that i had no idea were part of the show like i know mlvc podcast mentioned this too it's like in the part where she's trying to get in the club you know they're um 
playing the I Want Your Love song in the background. I knew they were playing a song. I just didn't know it was that song. But it makes total sense now. Or like other elements of the songs mixed, you know, a little bit that I didn't notice. I just thought, oh, it's like similar to this version of the song or that version of the song. We've heard it before in a way. And I was like, oh, no, no, wait, that's different. That's different. And her voice, her voice on songs like Live to Tell was just amazing. So that was something that really stood out for me, um, especially just, you know, not being able to see everything when I'm watching. But hearing it was amazing. And of course, having those camera angles as well, being able to see it up close in different moments um, of the performances, really, you know, it's like, can we have this on the DVD, you know, if there's one put out for this? Because I know they always want to like overly edit it and then it's kind of hard to enjoy it for, you know, with the choppy editing, especially with someone like me. I can imagine if you struggle watching it, think about the visually impaired person <laughs> trying to watch those choppy editing um, versions of MDNA Tour Rebel Heart that we have. So it's like MLVC was mentioning, you know, if we could just have this, if they could just give us the show with just showing her, you know, straight camera angles, you know, two or three angles, and that would be perfect, just so we could see, especially a show like this, where it's basically telling the story of her life, it's already acted out and theatrical. We don't need specific editing for that. Um, but what did you guys think of the show? What were some highlights for you? Of course, we got music, which we were all kind of figuring if there was one song. We'd heard rumors there might be three, but we, we did get that one. And I did think that was the one that we were likely going to get. And Anita was the guest ballroom judge, um, which was so great. We, we were so glad she did decide to be there. And in a very pivotal moment in the show that just made perfect sense. It would have been nice if they did the song together, as we had talked about. But um, it was still it was still a great uh, moment, you know. And the other um, artists that they had during music were really, that was a really great moment as well. So um, I liked how they made that very unique to Brazil and made the show kind of stand out on its own by having those performances and performers and um, paying tribute to them um, and their and, and that style of music. I know we didn't see the um, opening DJ was D Diplo and um, Diplo, Diplo, I'm probably saying it wrong, but they probably played quite a bit of the traditional Brazilian funk music during that part as well. So I thought that was really nice. And um, everything she had to say in her speeches to the Brazilian people, such a large fan community and all the love they were giving her and she was really giving it back and just really appreciating the tour and all the work that was put into it as well as the people um, the people that were involved directly, um, you know, putting the staging together and making it possible for them. I like how she said, you know, I could never find a way to bring my show here, so I just took over the beach. <laughs> and it's like, exactly, just... Put it where you need the space because, you know, it's going to happen one way or another. The fans will come out. So a lot of great highlights, just a great production of the video for us to watch or the broadcast rather. And um, audio was incredible. And yeah, those were the things that stood out to me. And once again, thank you, Guilherme, for making it possible for me to watch because I really didn't think that was going to happen for me. So that's my thoughts on that. And what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I really love to hear. Madonna also just recently posted some really beautiful photos from an after party after the show in Brazil. Um, her post stated that these were some of the great memories she had, as well as the rest stays with her in her heart. So sweet. And really nice to see that she had a great time afterwards to kind of like her little wrap up party. I think she did something like that with the Virgin Tour. I remember those photos circulating around People magazine and she was dancing and having a good time, if you remember those. So this is something similar to that. And, um, and that, yeah, it was just, it's nice that she was able to bring everyone together and celebrate this amazing tour. Like all of us had a chance throughout Europe, the United States, Canada, and 
Mexico and South America to see her. Uh, it would have been nice if there was Australia and also um, some Asia, but you know, it was pretty, I mean, when you think about 80 shows, it's like, that's a crazy number, especially after all the things that had happened in the previous year. And I'm sure she is just saying, wow, you know, this, this really went, you know, really went well. There were no cancellations. No, I mean, when you consider, you know, the Madame X tour and consider times before, I mean, this was really just, it was just such, such a well put together, well run um, concert and everybody was involved was on top of their I mean they were on top of things you know as far as the dancers you know Bob's uh, part in the show was amazing um, you know the production Stuart Price uh, just incredible work from everyone I want to as a fan I want to say what an amazing experience I would definitely put this in my top five of Madonna concerts if not in the top three maybe um, in terms of production quality and story t storyline. I mean, we could spend many more months talking about and dissecting what was the meaning of this? Why was this here? Why was it there? And I'm sure there's a lot of hidden meanings and things that we've yet to unravel that it's going to take us time to figure out. And, and in, in some ways, the broadcast, seeing some of the footage more up close and in this way that was filmed, it helped a bit to see some things and understand, you know, maybe where the different multiple meanings of things that she was going for, but that's going to take time. It's a very well-developed show, well-thought-out show. And so congratulations to Madonna on an amazing tour. And so it was that it's time for Madonna to head back, and we were sad to see her go, but she did wave to her fans as she was leaving at Sunday night at around 10.20 p.m. She left the Copacabana Palace Hotel to head back to a location unknown, although it, it might be New York, but we don't have any um, actual uh, location that we know of that she went to, but probably to get some much needed rest. And um, But she waved kisses to all the fans and and then in the special golden book, now this is Madonna Tribe's Twitter that shared this information, which is really cool. There's a golden book at the Copacabana Palace that you get to sign when you leave. And Madonna left a message um, for the hotel. And it was really sweet. She wrote, I love you, Rio. Thank you for taking such good care of me and my children. The view of the sea is magnificent. Love, Madonna. And the thing is, is, as we remember from the last video, um, if you saw the picture, um, she was looking out the window and just in astonishment at the view. And so definitely that left an impression on her. She talked about that often during the show, just being on the beach in the mountains and everything around her, the nature uh, was just, you know, jaw dropping. And I, I, just seeing it, you know, even just seeing it from a distance and you know, on TV is just like, wow, to be there in person must be so amazing. And so for everyone that was able to be there, this is something that will stay with them, you know, for a lifetime to remember the memories and cherish the memories, not just the music and the, 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 the chance to be in the same, you know, breathe the same air as the queen, but you know, to be in a, such a historical moment, you know, because it's not, like I said, there's two other artists, Rolling Stones and Rod Stewart, that have done something like this. It's it's not a lot of people that have been able to put on a show like this and have this kind of an impact. So it is incredible. It is something that we as Madonna fans cherish, but even in music, it's just a, a, an amazing moment. And so we thank Madonna for giving Brazil this experience, for giving us all this experience so that we can enjoy it. And if you missed it, you will have a chance to catch it, catch it again because we just found out that the Globo, um, Globo streaming or Globo TV channel and multi-show channels um, are going to rebroadcast it uh, this weekend. So uh, 10.30, I think it's, 10 30 p.m. on Saturday uh, today's the 9th well actually today's the 10th I'm posting this on the 10th but on the 11th um, you will be able to watch it at 10 30 on Saturday uh, rebroadcast and on Sunday it'll be on at 8 p.m. 
uh, multi-show channel or Globo TV. So check those out for the rebroadcast if you missed it. And let us know what you think of the show. Um, also, where did you see the show yourself? Did, were you at the Brazil show? That, you know, that is so once in a lifetime. But let's talk about the show in general. Like, where did you see your show? I was seeing my show in Seattle. And, you know, many people saw multiple shows all around the country. Um, so share with us, you know, your experience. Or just put in the comments, I was at so-and-so show and let's have a discussion about the celebration tour and what stood out for you if you will share your location where you saw it what stood out for your show um and i'll i'll, I'll definitely do one for mine in the comments and so let's have some fun with it as we remember this amazing tour and thank you everyone for watching this video and sharing and i'll see you in the next video thanks you guys are you looking for a great Madonna fan club to join? We have a place you need to be at. At Madonna Everybody Fan Club, not only this channel, but we also have a Facebook group and a Facebook page titled Madonna Everybody Fan Club. You should definitely come check us out and join. We have contests, fan of the month, features, articles, and a great community for you to get to know and share your Madonna love with other fans. We also would love for you to comment, like, and subscribe on this video and tell us what you think. What do you like to see more of in this channel? We're here for you and Madonna fans rock. So have a great day. Thank you.